I just realised that it's been one year since I started this hardcore world. I mean, 365 days in a single world is pretty impressive. Well, for me at least. The problem is I spent most of that building inside this cave. Although, it does look pretty awesome. Plus, it's packed with automatic farms, crazy builds, a custom never, and tons of terraforming. But, I really need to get outside and touch some grass. So, today, I'm going to completely transform this island into an epic fishing village. Packed with fishermen's houses, warehouses, a small dock, some boats, and a bunch of decorations. But before we do that, 1.20 has finally dropped. Yes, I am a little bit late, but we have some exploring to do. And before we head out, I should probably grab a few shulkers. Man, I really need to keep these more organized. I mean, where do I even start? Okay, shulkers sorted. Now, what else do I need? I guess all I really need is some rockets and a few golden carrots. So let the adventure begin. Well, after we generate some new terrain, of course, which is probably about 10,000 blocks away. So, yeah. Okay, I think we are finally generating some new terrain. I mean, it is loading a little slower. Plus, I'm like 12,000 blocks away now. So, let's see what we can find. Aha, cherry grove biome. Just look at those beautiful leaves. And another achievement. You know, I can't believe that we finally have cherry trees in Minecraft. And we have some new flowers, so you know what that means. Yeah, I kind of have a little bit of a flower addiction. Yeah, let's uh, move on. I guess the only thing I have to do now is figure out how I'm going to use all the new pink wood blocks. But I'm sure I can figure something out. So before moving on, I spent a bit of time gathering a bunch of leaves, cherry logs, and a bunch of saplings. Next, I wanted to try out the new archaeology brush. I mean, this cool little brush can find some awesome new loot, but the thing I'm most excited about is the sniffer eggs. But first, we need to craft one. So all we need for this is some copper, a little bit of cobblestone, a furnace, and a volunteer. You'll do, my friend. And now, we have a brush. So, there are several places you can use this, such as the ocean ruins, desert temples, trial ruins, and I'm sure there's probably more. So, let's start with the ocean ruins. Actually, before I do that, let's quickly repair my elytra. Okay, well, that should keep my wings going for a little longer. Come on, out my face, dude. Okay, let's grab our brush and see how this works. And just like that, we have a pottery shard. Awesome. What else can we find? A golden nugget? An axe? Really? Seriously, wheat? Like, why on earth would you find wheat in the ocean? Well, I was certainly expecting some better loot. I'm guessing sniffer eggs are not going to be so easy to find. Okay, I'm having no luck with the ocean ruins, so let's move on and see what else 1.20 has to offer. So, apparently, you can find the new trail ruins in taiga, birch forests, and jungle biomes. Although, to be fair, I actually have no idea what I'm looking for. Maybe I'm supposed to dig for them? Okay, this is really getting silly now. Surely they can't be that hard to find. Okay, so I've spent the best part of the last two hours searching for trial ruins, and I found nothing. Yep, that's right, nothing. So, for now, I'm gonna just give up. Maybe the desert has something a little bit better to offer. Anything new in here? Let's get rid of these. Aha, suspicious sand. But what do we have? A diamond? Well, that's a lot better. But, I mean, that's not what I was really hoping for. But I'll take it. And what do we have down here? Hmm, looks like the same old loot. Some emeralds. Ooh, dune armor trim, awesome. I mean, I'm not sure how we add it to our armor yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. So, while we're in a desert, I wonder if we can find a camel. There's a village, but does it have... Aha! Camel! Perfect! Wow, it seems so weird to finally see one of these in-game. Don't worry, I'm not stealing him. Relax, dude. Okay, what's he doing? I guess he's tired. 
Don't worry, buddy. I know the feeling. Those little flappy ears are so cool. Love them. What a great new addition to the game. Maybe I'll come back for him a bit later, though, as we're a long way from home. And I mean, like, 13,000 blocks away from base. So, you can imagine how long that journey would be on Camelback. For now, I think I'm done with the desert, so let's see what biome we find next. Looks like we have a jungle. Ah, so that's what the new bamboo blocks look like. Not sure what I make of them, to be honest. Now I've done my fair share of exploring, but I have to be honest, I haven't been in a jungle temple for years. So, guess what I just found? Yeah, they haven't changed much, and they still have the same old traps, but hopefully the loot's better. Yes, another armor trim template. I think this one is the wild armor trim. So, it turns out there are 16 different armor trim smithing templates, each one with its own unique design which can be crafted in different colors depending on which block you use. So I can't wait to update my armor in just a little bit, but for now, I really want some sniffer eggs. So let's keep exploring. After leaving the temple, I continued through the jungle and I couldn't believe my luck when I come across another one so close. This one on the other hand didn't have much to offer, so I quickly moved on. So at this point, I felt like the best place to find some sniffer eggs was probably gonna be in the ocean. So I wasted no time and headed to the first ocean I could find. However, this time around, I explored every spot I could find, brushing away at many suspicious blocks and taking out every drown that got in my way. It was a long journey, but I was focused and I had one goal in mind and I had no intentions of quitting until I achieved it. Eventually, after about two hours of raiding through the ocean floor, I finally hit the jackpot. Ooh, I think this could be it. Yes, we did it. We finally have a sniffer egg and another achievement too. Jeez, that took so long, and I still need to find another one if I want to breed them. So, looks like the journey isn't over just yet. I honestly thought I was going to be searching for hours. I mean, finding one was tough enough. Still, I continued on my journey, and surprisingly, it wasn't long before my luck had changed. No way, another sniffer egg already? Awesome, well, I guess I can't complain. I mean, that's two eggs now. If only the first one could have been that easy to find. Still. The next mission is going to be figuring out how to actually hatch them. Is that a shipwreck? Okay, let's make one last stop. Nice, another armor trim and a few goodies to go along with it. I guess this update certainly gives players much more reason to explore the world, so I think this update is a pretty cool one. So I guess now that we have two sniffer eggs, we should probably start making our way back home as I have so much work to do and I have some pretty cool ideas. Okay, I'm finally home, and my gosh, was that a lot more exploring than I planned, but I did find some pretty cool stuff. Although, the main thing I'm excited about is the sniffer eggs. Plus, we have the coast, dune, and wild armor trims, which I'll be playing around with in just a little bit. But first, I think it's finally time we make a start on this island transformation. First, I want to do some terraforming and cover up some of the water over here, as I'd like to be able to extend the island village a little bit later on. And this is going to be a huge job, so uh, let's get to work. Okay, and just the last few blocks, and we are finally done. Or maybe not. I mean, I probably should level off this island as well. At this point, I think I just like making more work for myself. Actually, what am I doing? Let's work harder, not smarter. Or rather, the other way around, but you guys know what I mean. Let's add haste too. Aha, that's more like it. Now we can move this out of the way. And the island is looking much better now, but it still needs a lot of shaping, so 
Let's get rid of this wheat first. And no, I really do not need any more seeds. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's turn this island into an island. Yeah, that makes no sense, but you guys get the idea. Okay, well that gives us a much nicer shape to work with now. And I've added a nice little docking area where I will be adding some small merchant boats and maybe some fishermen houses, which I'll come back to in just a little bit. I also added another bridge using the same design as the bridge before. So I think it's really starting to take shape now. But before I do anything else, let's grab some of these beautiful cherry leaves and maybe do a little bit of testing. Let's also grab the wild armor trim I'll also need the pottery shards and some diamonds. Now, let's see what happens if we change out a few of these leaves for the new cherry leaves. Oh, actually, that looks really cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Let's try changing a few more of the trees. Wow, what a change that makes. You know, these leaves are so cool. I think I actually have a new favorite. Okay, let's try out the new pottery shards or shards. I don't know. I think we place them like this. Yes, a decorated pot. Ooh, and an achievement. And maybe for now, I'll just place them down here. Hmm, actually, they do look pretty cool. And a directional too, which is a bonus. I've just placed the other two just over here for now, but I'll probably end up moving them a bit later. Okay, next up, I need some mossy cobblestone. And I think I can duplicate these if I use some diamonds. Okay, that gives me one extra, so I'm going to need a few more diamonds. Let's just grab these, and that gives us 41, which should be plenty. And now I just need to duplicate this a few more times. Okay, what does the lapis look like? Hmm, that's a bit dull in terms of color. Maybe we'll try diamonds. Ooh, yeah, that looks way better. Diamonds it is. Oh yeah, look at me now, looking pretty cool, even if I do say so myself. Seriously, what a cool new feature. I mean, it's just so awesome to be able to have your armor just feel that little bit more personalized. I think maybe we'll build an armor museum in the future. But as much as I love the new armor, I really need my wings, so let's put them back on. Hold on, that torch is looking a little bit... Okay, never mind, I am seeing things. Seriously guys, I think I need some more sleep. Now, I have literally no spruce wood left, but I do have a tree farm. And we're out of bone meal. Great. Come on, I'm so sure I had some in here. Aha, there we go. And now she's loaded, so time to plant some trees. Okay, that should be enough spruce to keep me going for a while. Now I just need to repair my bow, so let's craft a new one. And we can go and repair... No! Too expensive. Oh, well that sucks. I guess I'll just have to make the most of what's left of it. But this was like my first enchanted bow. I guess I should just concentrate on building for now. So let's start a front of the docks. And I think here I'm just going to build a fisherman's house with a bit of a market stall outside selling fish. I'm not sure what I'll build on this side yet, but let's do this. Okay, I've got the first building all in place now, which is looking awesome. But these were supposed to be a kind of hanging fishing net, just hanging out to dry. And as you can see, I have no nets. Now, cobwebs would look perfect, but unfortunately, I have none. So, I need a mineshaft. And I'm sure there was one around here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Why, Mr. Creeper? I don't think so, buddy. Seriously, can't you guys just give me a day off? Ooh, glow lichen. Uh, okay, maybe not. Come on, where was this mine shaft? I know I've definitely seen one. Oh my god, creeper! Ugh. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Where the hell did you guys come from? I should blow them up with some TNT for some payback. 
Aha, finally a mine shaft. Right, let's find some cobwebs. Even better, a spider spawner. Ah, seriously, you guys drive me mad. But it is the best place for cobwebs. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a mission, but at least we can finally finish our fishing nets. And that's more like it and looking pretty cool. Now, it's time to start working on the other side where I think I'm gonna build a bit of a warehouse with like a little kind of connected stall. Oh my gosh, that's what you called being on the edge. One more step and I would have been. But come on guys, I'm too much of a pro for that. Let's build. Okay, that's not bad, but the area is still looking a little bit empty. So we definitely need a couple of boats or maybe a small ship to create a bit of atmosphere. But first, we still have this huge empty area here and I really want to get in another fisherman's house and maybe another warehouse. Plus, I think a cool kind of gazebo over in the corner here would look awesome. But first, I still have those sniffer eggs and I think for now, I want to build a temporary pitcher pod and torch flower farm so that we can get unlimited seeds. So first I'm gonna need a few materials like some mangrove logs and some warp stems. I'll also need some redstone and a ton of hoppers. Hmm, what else do I need? Oh, and I need some mud blocks. That should be enough. Oh yeah, and one last thing we need is some bamboo. I mean, it's a new block, so we've got to try it out, right? I'm sure I had some in here. Ah, there we go. Let's just plant a couple of stacks here so that it can grow, just in case we need a little bit more. So for now, I think I want to build this inside the cave, and I think this building here should be perfect. But first, I have some clearing to do. Man, I have far too much stone hiding everywhere. This may take a while. I think maybe it's time that I extended my storage system. I mean, I have way too much stone and cobblestone, so maybe some bulk storage would be good. And I'm out of food already? At least I have some emeralds and these two happy farmers willing to sell me plenty of golden carrots. Okay, just a few more barrels to clear. Oh my god, that took forever, but at least the barrels are all clear now. I mean, I still have some stone to clear. Like, seriously, can't I even make it through one episode without having to dig? Ah, oh, why do I do this to myself every time? Seriously, four creepers at once? Man, you guys are determined to get me today. Although, I probably should have lit the place up. And there's always another one hiding somewhere. Seriously, cheap shot, dude. Okay, I think I've got them all, so let's get this farm in place. So most of the farm is done now and the reason I've used mud blocks is because they work just like slabs. So the hoppers underneath can pick up the items and then they get transported into the chests just over here. And all it needs now is a little bit of lighting, some detailing and of course my two sniffer eggs. And all I have to do now is cover it with glass. Now we just have to wait. Wow, they cracked already? Okay, it shouldn't be long then. There's one, and two. Man, that was so fast. I wish the turtles hatched that quick. Okay, let's leave those guys to grow up while we get back to some building. So the docking area at the front here is looking really cool, but we've still got a lot of work to do, so let's get back to it.
Okay, this building is looking awesome and I love the little addition of the cherry tree. Although it still looks a little bit empty around the back. So let's add in a market stall. But first, I think I want to change the concrete on this one and maybe use some wall instead. Yeah, that little bit of texture on the wall just looks so much better. Now, this one will be very similar, but maybe I'll use some red and yellow wall instead. Now I just need to find some fish. Ooh, and what type of fish are you? Now let's add those finishing details. Okay, that definitely looks better, but I think we could do with a few trees and maybe some details around here. And perhaps another small building just here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, this is really starting to shape up now and I really do love the addition of these little cherry trees. They just look so cool. And we're really starting to get in some colors now, so kind of giving you a bit of an idea of how the town is gonna start taking shape. Plus, walking along here really gives you such a great vibe. Over here, I think I will probably add another fisherman's house, maybe a storage shelter, and then maybe another market stall just over here. So let's get back to work. This island is looking so awesome now. I mean, I just love the atmosphere as you walk through here and it kind of gives you a little bit of a feeling of how the main town is gonna start looking. Although we definitely need some boats. But first, let's see if our sniffers have found any seeds yet. Wow, look at the size of these guys. They're like four times bigger. Man, that's crazy. Anyway, we now have 21 torch flower seeds and 31 pitcher pods. Can we breed these with any seeds? No, just a torch flower. And they didn't make a baby. That's weird because I'm sure I heard a noise. Oh, they lay eggs. Yeah, well, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's place you in here and I guess for now, I'll just have to keep popping back so that we can keep breeding them. Okay, I think these ones have to be farmed first. Wow, this one looks like a massive carrot. They're certainly a little bit different, but I think they're pretty cool. Hmm, why didn't I get the flower? Oh, they have another growth stage. Okay, that makes sense. I guess for now we can make use of a few of these around here. So as much as I love this island, the docks are still looking a little bit empty. So I think we do need a couple of boats just to liven things up. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, those boats certainly make it look so much better. I think this one is my favorite, even though it's pretty simple. This one is more of a small fishing boat. And again, very simple, but I think it does the job. 
Actually, you get a really cool view of the island from just over here. And that is how I built an epic island town in Minecraft Hardcore. Which brings us to day 2441. So, what do you think? Should we do a little tour in the next episode? Or make a start on the main city? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.